वेलकम टू अवर चैनल गाइस टुडे वी आर गोना टॉक अबाउट फ्यू टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स दैट यू शुड फॉलो टू सेट अप योर मैक कंप्यूटर इट इज गोइंग टू बी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू वेदर यू गॉट अ न्यू लैपटॉप और यू वांट टू ऑप्टिमाइज योर एग्जिस्टिंग वन फर्स्ट थिंग यू शुड डू इज टू टर्न ऑफ आई क्लाउड सिंह फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड वट इज आई क्लाउड एंड वट इज द यूज ऑफ आई क्लाउड द बेसिक फंक्शन ऑफ द आई क्लाउड इज टू कीप डेटा इन सिंह अक्रॉस ऑल डिवाइज दैट आर साइन इन टू same iCloud account. That means if you add an account, update your calendar or do any number of other things on your iPhone, that change will be automatically applied to your other iPhone, iPad, Mac or other Apple devices. Apple give every iCloud account 5 GB of free storage to use. Any data you sync with iCloud uses up to this storage. But you can also save your own document and folders to iCloud using iCloud Drive. As you know, 5 GB of this storage space is not sufficient because we tend to have multiple junk or unwanted large files on our computer, and these files automatically get synced to the iCloud account if it is turned on, which is a default feature of any Apple device. So to avoid this and to upload only necessary files to the iCloud, we should turn off the iCloud sync. Let's see how you can turn off iCloud sync. Firstly, you need to go to system preferences that you can find in the dock easily. If not the case, you can search for the same in Spotlight. Once it is open, click on Apple ID and options for the iCloud Drive. Here you can find all the app that store documents and data in our iCloud. So, just uncheck the checkbox to turn off the iCloud sync Let's check for the software update Even if you bought a brand new laptop from Apple Store it may not be up to date with current software so you should check before you start arranging things in your laptop and update the software Now let's see how to check for software update You need to choose about this Mac from Apple menu and then click on software update button. If any updates are available, click the update now button to install them. In my case, it's already up to date. When software update says that your Mac is up to date, the installed version of Mac OS and all of its apps are also up to date. That includes Safari, iTunes, Books, Message, Mail, Calendar, Photos, and FaceTime. To find updates for iMovies, Pages, Number, Keynotes and other app that were downloaded separately from the App Store, open the App Store on your Mac and then click on Update tabs. Let's reorganize our dock. The dock has been with the Mac for over a decade now. It offers you a quick way to access the finder which is your mac's underlying file system as well as your current running application like favorite apps favorite files or folder and the trash but you can also remove those shortcut and add your own you can customize the dock to fit your preferences by default most of apple's built-in apps start with shortcut saved in the dock so if you don't use any of the software at least once in a week then it is better to remove it from the dock and with this your dock will look much better and if you really want it then spotlight is your friend you can search for it anytime using command and space bar and search for a software in spotlight to remove an app from your dock do a right click on the app and select remove from dock from the option menu if you want to add a new app to your dock Do a search in your spotlight and drag it to your dock. I personally hide my dock if I don't have any external display. And to do that, go to your dock and turn on hiding. You can get back your dock anytime by pressing Command Option T. Or you can hide the dock using same command. Let's use stack to create group of files. The quick one I used to organize my laptop is stack. 
You can use tags on the desktop to keep files neatly organized in groups. Whenever you save a file to the desktop, it's automatically added to the appropriate stack that's help to keep your desktop clean. Unfortunately, stacks is an option that's limited to the desktop and not available within individual file folders. Let's see how you can use stack. To turn on stack, click the desktop, then choose view and click on use stack from that menu. As you can see, it has neatly arranged all the file in stack. To open or close a stack, just click on the stack. Next thing that we should do is to enable path bar and status bar. To simplify the Mac user experience, they hide the Windows status bar in Mac operating system, which includes path bar and status bar. The path bar shows the system path that leads to the selected file. So if you deep inside the folder, you can see where it is exactly. Whereas the status bar shows how much space left in your hard drive and how many files you have selected currently. Let's see how you can show status bar and path bar in Finder window. To turn on the status and path bar, first you need to open Finder and go to view menu. And then choose show status bar and show path bar. After turning on, you can find both are at the bottom of your standard Finder window. Let's move to the next tip and show battery percentage in Mac. By default, battery percentage does not appear. However, I personally like to see how much battery is left because it is helpful to show the battery percentage on your Mac. So you know how much time you left to use your computer and possibly adjust your setting to maximize the battery life. To turn on the battery percentage of your laptop, just go to the battery icon, click on it and select show percentage. Then you can see how much percentage of battery is left in your system. The next step is about how you can change the default app to open any file. When you first get a Mac, you will find Apple has set all the default apps for common files type. For example, Safari for website and preview for pictures. In most cases, these are fine and you will be happy to use them. However, you can change the default app setting to open any file. Now let's see how you can change the default app. First, you need to select any file and do the right click. Once it is open, you need to select get info and then go to the open with section. There you can select any app to open your file and apply the changes to all file having same extension by clicking on change all button. After clicking on that, all the files will open with your selected app. That's it for today guys. Thanks for watching guys. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Do let us know if you like this video in comment section.